The two-day consultation was held at the Bay Gardens Hotel on Thursday, 5th October, with the aim of strengthening climate-resilient health systems in the Caribbean. According to the World Health Organization, the effects of climate change can be felt through our water and food supply and shelter. Health planner within the Ministry of Health, Tamara Lionel, said the attendees were representatives of the various collaborating agencies who came together to establish two main goals. The purpose of this workshop is twofold. One, a discussion on the priorities set out in the National Health Adaptation Plan, and two, obtaining stakeholder input for the completion of the draft concept note. The aim of the concept note is to improve the climate resilience and resource efficiency of public and private health facilities while enhancing the country's ability to respond to the broad health threats posed by climate change. According to the European Union, health has not been a foremost topic on the agenda of climate change conversation. The EU Climate Programme Manager Donna Gittens stated that a multi-dimensional approach was being promoted to ensure all key partners play a role in the development of health and climate policies. We recognize that health has not been prominently featured in the NDCs. It is often implicitly captured under the broader targets for adaptation with limited clearly stated targets within the larger climate policy framework. HNAP development is therefore the first key step in its integration into the climate policy architecture. It is a tool to provide a much needed room for the discussion of the connection between the sectors, recognizing the cross-cutting nature of each. PAHO Sub-Regional Program Director Dean Chambliss pointed out the organization must gain a better understanding of the impact of climate change on health to appropriately address the situation. Chamberlain says PAO is providing support to various countries in developing health chapters within the National Adaptation Plans, or HSNAPs. We are currently supporting 10 countries, one of which is St. Lucia. Coincidentally, the Helen of the West Indies is the first country to have completed the HSNAP. Congratulations to the country team and to the consultants who have worked so hard to achieve this. National Adaptation Planning helps countries to assess their specific climate risks, including projected changes in temperature, precipitation, sea levels, and extreme weather events. The complete concept note will be forwarded to the Green Climate Fund for funding consideration through the Ministry of Economic Development. The workshop was being conducted under the theme, Creating a Low Carbon and More Resilient Health Sector in St. Lucia. For the Communication Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs, I'm Sant Justin.